I decided now was the time to do a video. I've had my solar system up and going for a few days, about a week now. It's taken a while to get it up and going. Nothing to do with the company that installed it. Everything to do with the electricity companies. They are mental. I want to tell you what you should avoid doing when you get a new solar system. And I'll give you my experience. In fact, I'll tell you how much money I'm actually making from this solar system. It's more than you would expect. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Well, great to have you with us anyway. The people, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just say so this is a solar, solar power inverter. and yeah. yeah. So this is a solar inverter. It basically brings down your panels from your roof, converts it into AC energy, which you can use in your house, and happy days. And charge your car or yeah, whatever. Yeah, charge your car. Anything that'll just shoot back into every load you've got in your house. And, kind and of you can connect the battery to an inverter? Yeah, you can connect a battery to yeah. an inverter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can connect all that up. And, yeah. Get everything running. Awesome. Get Thanks, guys. man. I've got a new solar system on my roof. It's big and I'm making money from it. And I've got to say thanks to the company that installed it. They did a great job. And I, if you want to use that company, I did lots of research before I got the system installed. I found the company with the best reviews in Australia. I talked to a few different companies. Some of the companies I talked to felt pretty scammy. One of them, I'm getting messages from them every single week, just over and over. End deal. Best deal you've ever seen in your life. Over. And over, I mean, best deal, deal if deal finishes today, don't get it today, you're never gonna get this deal again, then you get the same message the following week, over and over and over. Yeah, anyway, if you wanna get a system installed at your house, Resync Solar, they're the company I used, but if you use the link I'll put in the description, then they will give you a bit of a discount. They actually offered me, they said, guys, they said, Sam, mate, the CEO of the company is an absolute legend, his name's Lee. I've got a lot of respect for him. He's um, gone through cancer himself. In fact, he cured himself of cancer. I mean, he's told me what he's done. And yeah, he didn't have stage four cancer, so that was a good thing. But he had major, major, I hope he doesn't mind me telling you this, but he had a, ma a majorly serious cancer case. And um, he did some incredible stuff, amazing amount of research that he did, and he figured out how to fix himself. And this is a true story. It's guys like this though that never make a YouTube video about it. They don't crow about it and say, oh, I'm, I'm a I'm a next level, just legendary person who's able to do all this stuff when they've got cancer. You know, he's running this huge $50 million business when he's got cancer and enables, figures out how to fix himself, goes on these protocols, you know, basically does the full fasting protocol, does does some things. I wanna actually get him, if, if he's willing to discuss this on YouTube online, to tell everyone what he did. Anyhow, Lee, he absolute champion, and I've got a lot of respect for Lee. And Lee said to me, mate, he said, "We can, if you'd like, we can we can do a situation where we would give you a a payment on referrals, you know." And of course, I would disclose this to you guys that I was making some sort of payment. But I said, "No, I don't want that." I said, "I think it'd be better if we pass that on to consumers. We want as many people in Australia to get solar as possible." And Lee was like, "That's a great idea, fantastic. So let's do that. Let's give them the best system that where we can." Now, I want to make a point here. These guys are not the cheapest. They're not the cheapest, but the cheapest ones are the ones that I was telling you before. They're spamming me with these messages. And you can imagine that um, there are a lot of people complaining, a lot of people saying, um, had the system now for five years or two years, three years, having all these problems now. Personally, I thought it was worth paying a bit more to not go through having all these problems in the future, not having a situation where you call customer service, there is no customer service, the company doesn't exist anymore, or you know, using cheaper quality panels or using cheaper quality inverters. So I did a lot of research and I found these guys are using the best quality parts. I looked at what the parts were. All right guys, these are the black longy panels that are going on the roof, covering the roof in solar. It's a very windy day, these guys are up on the roof, putting these panels on. This is what they look like up close exactly black but I mean from a distance they are black so black solar panels actually work differently to, to blue solar panels the efficiency is a little different so that is the back side I'm guessing yeah. yep and let's just do you mind if we just hold it up and have a look at the, the other side do you want me to pull it up? yeah that'd be great thanks man so do you know what kind of panel this is About 440 watts or something like that? Yeah, 440. It says on the back? Yep. It's got everything just there. All right. Awesome. 
So this is a what a, a panel looks like, and that's basically the backing sheet, right? Yeah. And the backing sheet makes it black. Is that right? Because uh, it's kind of a cool, kind of a cool color how it looks black, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah. Panels. Do you guys know much about the black panels? Mate, listen, to my knowledge, they absorb power quicker in the hot days. Okay. There's obviously no white lines and black absorbs heat quicker. Yeah. So, yeah. They still produce the same amount of power. Same amount. I think they look more streamlined on the roof. Yeah. 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 Just give it that sleek edge. Thanks, man. Here are the old panels. Been up there for 10 years or something. This is what they look like. Uh, this is what they look like. You can see the, the new ones look very different. It's set of coffee, so I'm... A bit, a bit shaky. Um, I have black, all black panels, so it does look really nice on the house. They are the best all black panels at Longy, uh, 420 watt or four, sorry, 440 watt Longy panels, all black. Really, really good quality panels. And on your roof, as you can see from the video from from me, I think the panels look better than my own roof. And one of the benefits I've noticed is. The temperatures inside my roof after I install the panels are cooler now. It's almost like they're acting to some degree like a bit of insulation, I think. So the system's installed. I have 56 panels, a total of 25.6, or let's just round it off. It's about 26 kilowatt of panels. The panels don't face north. So I don't have a northerly facing roof. I have my roof is actually east and west so i've got panels on the east and panels on the west there are pros and cons if you have panels on the north you might actually get more total power generated but most you've got to get a higher peak in the middle of the day when you don't really need to generate power if you've got a massive battery or you got you know you're charging evs every day doesn't matter but i think that, that so the north thing is it is good i've got a friend my in fact my cousin he's got 20 kilowatt of panels and he produces about as much power as i do but my peak, um, I think, lasts for a little longer because I'm getting that very low sun. So even at 5 p.m. in at the end of winter, I'm still getting enough electricity when the sun is right, right, right down, only just above the horizon. I'm still getting enough electricity to run the house. In fact, a bit more than I'm using to run the house. That means that um, you know by the time um, the weather changes to towards middle of spring, summer. I'll be covering almost all the day. And I, I think that my electricity costs, which are already zero, will be even better. So when I say electricity costs are zero, I'm generating enough power to get, to make about a profit of around of an average of $10 per day. So I'm sending power into the grid. And of course, unfortunately at the moment, you don't get a whole lot of money for that because we don't have enough batteries installed yet in Australia, but they're about to be installed. So those prices will go up. Keep that in mind. When you get your solar system installed now, or if you've already got one, the price that companies are paying for your electricity now is peanuts, but it will go up. When all these big batteries are installed over the next couple of years, then companies will see more value in your solar. They will pay you more. There's no question about that because like I said, they'll be able to use it in the evening peak when electricity is expensive. And there are an incredible number of batteries being installed. So anyway, I'm still making $10 a day, even after I pay for the electricity I use at nighttime during the middle of the night, uh, you know, in the evening when the sun has gone down, I'm still making a plus profit of ten dollars a day, which would be seventy dollars a week. And of course, over the year, that means it's quite a bit of money, uh, thousands of dollars. So you might be thinking to yourself, "I'm never going to pay this system off." That's what I got. I got an email from someone saying, "I got a solar system. I'm never going to pay it off." I'm like, "Hang on a minute. You're charging your EVs with your solar during the day, so you're, ch you're saving enormous amounts of money. Plus, you're not paying for electricity." right? In addition to that, if you do get a battery, you can make a lot more money as well. You can send electricity into the grid in that evening peak between six, say six, seven to 10 PM. And then you can, you can get a lot more from it. But if it's just solar, like I said, you can make a profit $10 a day with just solar. I've got no batteries connected. I am going to install the battery. I am going to do it because having, having EVs, it makes sense to have a battery. Also, keep in mind, virtual power plants are becoming a thing here in Australia. So you sign up to a virtual power plant and you have a battery pack and they can use electricity when they need it. In peak times, when the grid goes, when the grid has, has issues, when coal power stations have problems, when there's um, blackout times, there's many times when they can use it and they will pay you a lot of money for that electricity when they need it on demand. So that's when it makes a lot of sense to have a battery pack when you've got an EV. 
and of course when you want to sign up to a virtual power plant my big experience with this has been the company resync solar their customer service was amazing and their reviews there's 1100 reviews for them on product review which is most of the time when companies have reviews on product review they're scathing people just want to complain on that platform i do i know many people do you go on there and you write a negative review but these guys don't have any negative reviews they've only got maybe two one of them was from a guy that um i actually um, spoke to him and he said oh i wanted to change my review they fixed the problem but i don't know how to change it so he can't change his review the more positive reviews than any business in any form that i've ever seen on product review so amazingly glowing reviews and that was my experience as well these guys were phenomenal my problem was the electricity company. I had to get a smart meter installed because I was getting a new solar system. And I emailed the company and Energy Locals, they're called Energy Locals. Avoid them like the plague. They are non-existent. The customer service will tell you, to, well, they won't say anything. They'll just ignore you. I called them twice on the phone for a long time. Our first time, nothing. I got hung up on after 45 minutes. Second time they said, oh, we're not the right people. We can't get you through to the right people. Send the team an email and they'll handle it for you. Send them an email, guess what? Nothing. Send them another email a week later, nothing. So I've got all this solar on my roof and I can't connect my solar system because I need to get this new smart meter. This is the company requiring that, by the way. This is them. They're requiring me to install the smart meter. I'm waiting for them and I'm happy to pay for this if I have to and they're just non-responsive. I haven't said, guys, just letting you know, I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to report back on my experience on this. So if you're not going to get back to me, people are going to know about that. Guess what? Still nothing. I think it was about a month later that I got an email back. And by then, I moved to Electricity Energy Australia. Energy Australia also were a nightmare. And they charged me $650 for a smart meter. A lot of companies won't charge you for a smart meter, I've been told. But they charged me $650. So avoid Energy Australia and <laughs> avoid Energy Locals. Both of them are not great. But to be fair, Energy Australia, at least they did get the smart meter installed eventually it took them weeks it took them about three weeks i was waiting for paying for electricity for three weeks when i didn't need to anyhow my advice avoid both of them i'm sure you can find a better electricity company overall my experience now though is phenomenal guys and i highly recommend you getting solar panels on your roof you will pay them back quickly i've done the maths i've done all the maths i've looked at all the numbers i love the numbers and the numbers are saying i'm making ten dollars a day without even having a battery so it's an absolute no-brainer this is the end of winter Imagine what I'll be making in spring, summer. Imagine when daylight savings comes in in Australia. Like if there was daylight savings now and I was getting an extra hour, I'd probably be making about $14 a day because that'd be the peak, right? That'd be the peak between uh, 5, 20 p.m. to 6, instead of me, my electricity getting um, really going, me going to the grid at about 5, 30 p.m. It'd mean that I'd be sending grid energy to the grid until about 6, 30 p.m. So that extra hour would make a big difference. Guys, four o'clock in the evening, right the last day of winter. Right now, it's the last day here of winter in Newcastle. And this is the sun. It's nearly 4.30 p.m. Now, one final thing that surprised me with all this, even when there's no sun on the solar panels, I'm still generating energy. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. I have, I've confirmed this is true. Even when the sun is so low, I'm still generating a, a very small amount of electricity. I'm still generating about 500 watts. And honestly, I only use 500 watts at that time of the day. So at around 5.30 p.m., the sun becomes so low that it's not actually shining on the panels, but there's still sunlight in the air. And I'm still generating 500 watts. And this happened every day now for five days in a row. I didn't think that'd be possible. I thought sun had to actually be shining on the panels, but it turns out it doesn't. So guys, if anyone else has had that experience, let me know in the comments. Either way, stoke for this. If you wanna use these guys to get a solar system installed, I highly recommend them. Thank you for watching.